Hi everybody, it's Diane. I have kind of been in a tizzy a little bit the last couple of days. Um, as I mentioned, I listed my house and the day after it went online, um, I got a message from my realtor that someone wanted to see it and that was today. Today's Wednesday. Um, so somebody came through my house today and after that my realtor messaged me that it went very well and I might be getting an offer tomorrow. So, you know, depending on what the offer is, I might get my house sold very quickly. So, like, I spent all day yesterday really, really getting the house ready to have, you know, to have someone go through it. And that meant, you know, going up to the attic and down in the basement. And my Fitbit said I did 18 flights of steps yesterday. <laughs> um, but it was good enough um, for somebody to like it anyway. So I came home. I was at my, my daughter's house all day today because I was watching my grandson who has to do school on the computer. And since we couldn't be here while people went through the house, um, I just stayed with him at his house all day. So I, at least it gave me a chance to rest. He was doing his work online and I was vegging out on the couch reading or watching my tablet, YouTube on tablet. And then I came home and I feel like I need to do something. My cleaning is done. <laughs> so I feel like I need to just do something creative, but I don't really know what to do. I don't feel like doing ephemera. Um, I started looking for what I would do with these, with this um, kit for the music. The Musician's Parlor, I think this kit is called from Kelly's Crafts by Kelly. And I have everything cut and ready, but I just, I can't make a decision. I thought I have this book, which is the right size, or I could make a cover out of cardstock. I'm running low on cardstock too. I'm going to have to order some. I mean the, not cardstock, chipboard. And I actually even started cutting a piece of this beautiful um, tapestry fabric. I used my this thing and, and cut straight in two edges but then I stopped because I just I can't come to a decision and I realized that my mind isn't in a place where it can do a complicated project so then I thought well maybe I should just do some glue books because I don't have to think about them too much everybody likes the glue books and I can come to these when I'm ready for them so I am going to set these aside for a little while and I pulled some book covers that I want to make glue books out of. This is not going to be a glue book but some of these pages can be pages in the glue book. So I'm going to work on five glue books and this is what they're going to be and I'm not going to res reserve any of them. I just want to make the glue books and put them in my shop and let people go and find them. So I'm going to try to do five. So I have Tom Thumb and Other Favorites, and, the, and this is a Dandelion Library book. But the really fun thing about this is you flip it over and you have a Treasury of Nursery Rhymes. So you get two cute covers with this book. And I'm going to put it on just like this. I mean, it's going to... I could flip this around so they're both right side up, but I'm not going to. And so this story is the right way up. Of course, I'm not going to... Some of these pages will go in the book, but not, not all of them. And then you have to flip it around to get those pages right side up. So that's a really fun book. Let me see if I can find a date on that, just out of curiosity. 1967 from, by Grolier. So that's going to be a fun one. And it's um, not quite seven by nine and a quarter. Then I have this. I love this cover, and it's... Um, from a cookbook by Roscoe Dispirator, Dispirito called Flavor, and it's a squarish book, and it's just over eight. Well, maybe it's eight and a half by not quite ten. And here 
to have that fun end paper and then chili peppers on the back. And I'll in include the fly leaves in it somehow too. Then the larger ones, well, right, this one isn't very big, but this is the big book to grow on. Love this cover. I'll cover that up with something. And this one is eight, uh, six and a half by nine and a half. And then I have two larger ones. This one is called Swimming children's book. It's got the real thick, sturdy cover on it. And this one is eight and three quarters by eleven. And I'll have to cover the end papers because of all this stuff on them. And I'll include, I will include the original library book in the a library pocket in the book. And I'll include some of these really fun pages too. And then lastly, I have this book cover, which is in kind of rough shape, but I think it's so cute that I want to use it. And I will use corners, metal corners, but even so, I mean, it's not horrible, but you can definitely tell it's vintage. But look at those cute children. So I'm going to make it, and if nobody wants to buy it, I, I can keep it. And it's eight and a half by eleven and a quarter, so that's a pretty big one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to cut any papers right now. I just felt like, you know, getting this project started. It's quarter after five now, so I'm going to have to go down and get some dinner before long. But I just thought I'd get started and just tell you all what's going on with my house. Sorry. And maybe pull some pages that I can use in these books. So this is a craft book called Garden Blessings, and it's about painting. It shows how to paint these designs. But I am going to remove the staples in the center and pull the pages out and use the pages. Because I think these will be awesome glue book pages. You could actually color on these pages instead of gluing stuff over them. You could call it an activity book. You could glue on some, you know. Oh, it's got some dead bugs in there. I think I'll just throw that page away. Poor little angels. And I'll use some of the color pages too. Is this a fold-out page? Yeah, this has the pattern printed on it, design printed on it, so this opens right up into a big sheet. So I'll be able to cut that to the right size. So I'm just kind of surprised at how how fast this is all going. I mean, it's nothing is definite. I don't know if she's going to offer me what I want, you know. I don't know. So it's just amazing that it, it was shown and someone wants it within just a few days. But I know, oh, there's a staple set in the center that I didn't even realize. Better open that one up too, that'll make it easier. I might have to save this page for the strawberry journal that I want to make. 
I think I'll save these two pages. I keep finding things with strawberry motifs, and I love strawberries, so I've been saving them so I can eventually make a strawberry themed journal. And yesterday I went to Salvation Army and took a full carload of stuff. I usually have my trunk full. This time the trunk and the back seat were full. My son met me there and helped me unload my stuff. But I always go in to see what they have in case there's something really awesome. And I didn't get much, but I looked through the cards. I don't normally look through the cards. They charge 29 cents for each card. But I found a few, and one of them was a strawberry card. I didn't get any books. I just got a few cards and something from Current, the Current Company, you know, the stationery company. I'm not really sure what they are. They're kind of shaped like plants steaks but they're thin chip um not chipboard they're thin card stock I, I don't even know if i'd call them card stock so i don't think they would work as a plant steak but that's what they're shaped like but there were um like little animals on top of each one and there's two of each so there was only eight of the pieces eight pieces but two of them were swans and i and i have a vintage book about it's a, it's a story, a kid's story, but it has swans in the title. And um, it's a picture of a swan on the front. So I've been saving swan images, too. So I got the, that set just for those two swans. And that was only 49 cents, I think. I might even use this cover. So let's just get those staples right out. Isn't that odd that there isn't... I don't know where that other staple is. So odd. Okay, so those pages are ready. Anyway, that's what I got. A few cards and that set. Um, I can't remember what the other animals are, but it's nothing that I'm collecting for. But I can use them in journals. Okay, so now I brought my calendars over. I've got a whole bunch of calendars, and a lot of these came from... The Salvation Army, too. So I'm just going to take an assortment of calendar pages. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to try cutting anything down to size in this video. Um, just making a selection and just wanted to um, have you along and chat a little bit. Take five of each. So I can put one in each book and then try a different calendar with different designs. This is a fun one because there's lots of blank space there. This one's really pretty. I don't know if I'll use the really pretty ones because um, you won't want to cover them with your glued stuff. There's some swans. I'll take that page. Another thing that I set aside when I see them are um, cat and dog images because I'm the, I don't want to make a cat or a dog journal, but when I put together, um, what do I call them? Kitty kits, kitten kits, and puppy packs. When I put them together, they sell well, so I just keep saving them until I have enough to put together a bundle. Let's see what else I have in this calendar. There's a fox. Isn't that cute? I'll move it over here where you can see it. It's really cute. I like that. Chrysanthemums. Beautiful flowers. Some goldfish. Koi. I think that's, I'll just take that the kitty and the swans out of that book, but I'm not going to use those in a blue book, that calendar, and probably won't use this one either, Birds of Field and Garden. 
Yeah, I won't use that. Or this one. Or the fairy one. I'm going to do fairy journals, too. I have lots of calendars that I can use, though. Never fear. Oh, can't use that one. We can use this one. I already took some out of the center of this one. I just didn't open up the staples. I have a friend who loves penguins. Loves penguins. Her living room is chock full of penguins and she lives with well used to be three guys but one of the sons moved out <laughs> she has a husband and two sons and they love her and they put up with her penguins but she wants a penguin journal she gave me a few pieces of ephemera that i can put in a penguin journal but i've been finding some penguin things too so she knows that I'm not going to do it right away because she knows I'm working on selling a house and moving. But she says she's going to pay me for it, but I tell her she's not. She's not even a journaler, really. I asked her if she journals, and she said, not really. Maybe she journals a little. I don't know. So I can leave a little space for writing in the journal, but she doesn't need a ton of writing space in it. I like this calendar with the black and white, or black and, yeah, black, red and white, and they all have a heart somewhere on them, but, oh, I guess I used, <laughs> that's it, there, used up that calendar. I guess we can put this one in. So anyway, I just have ephemera pieces, I don't have pages of pen for penguin books but I have to look for like black and white designs and maybe with red you know I kind of want it to be mostly black and white with some pops of color red or yellow or something or maybe just blue I don't know well, can't get that one But I'm not even going to think about that journal right now. I don't think I need to do anything fancy with hers. She just wants a place, I think, to keep this ephemera that she has. These are quite pretty pictures though. You could maybe use those pictures and collage around them and make them part of the collage. Then if I use all these pages, I think that's probably enough. Probably more than I'll need. So let's be done with the calendars. I still have a lot of calendars. Now this is a container of larger pages. I have set aside just for this purpose. I have these envelopes that I can open out and use. this angled properly, do I? So these would be some fun pages. I used a lot of these in 
the journal, the glue books that I made when I was on my getaway. Got some wallpaper pieces in here, but I'll get some bigger ones out of my wallpaper container. It's just fun to go through random papers and throw them in a journal. Oh, excuse my very loud phone. That is my son, so I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to talk to him. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.